Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today I'm going to be talking about how to dress when going out to the theater on a budget. Okay, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. By doing that, these videos will come right to you. In addition, if you like or find this useful, I would appreciate it if you would like it down below. And don't forget, we've got our free 47-page 47 ebook. Almost, almost tore off 10 pages there. But no, it's 47 pages. Grab it. The link is right down there. Okay, this is the question that came in. Antonio, I have a question and I'd like you to ask, answer it directly. Well, I'll do that. <laughs> My girlfriend and I are going to celebrate our birthdays together in April and we're going to a nice restaurant and we're going to be seeing a show at the theater and then staying at a nice hotel afterwards. I need a suit to feel dressed appropriately. The only suit I own though is a black houndstooth fabric, which I don't think is appropriate for the occasion. I'd like something that's not too formal nor too business oriented. She's going to be wearing a really nice dress, so I want to look good. At the same time, you know, I don't want to look really young as that we're in college and we've got a really strict budget. I have black hair, a pretty good body type. Can you help me? Okay. So we've got two questions here, really what to wear when you're going to the theater and how this gentleman can dress so he's feeling really good and matching the, uh, the level of attire that his girlfriend's going to be wearing and do it on a budget. So let me break these down. When you're going to the theater, the best thing to do is to call. Now, this gentleman mentioned he was in Atlanta and I think it was the Fox Theater. I don't know the dress code for the Fox Theater. I don't even know what kind of a theater it is. So you're going to want to call and simply ask. The theater is going to appreciate it. Worst case, you do show up in a suit and you're going to be out dressing a lot of the people. Although I can tell you most oftentimes, if it's assuming it's not a movie theater, but you know, if it's a performance theater, then you're going to find at least the people working there oftentimes outdress the people in attendance. But this is down in Atlanta, a town that you know is laid back, but at the same time you've got some pretty sharp dressers. So I'm going to think that wearing a dark suit is going to work well. But again, call and ask the theater, and they should be able to give you a bit of guidance. Now, you don't want to wear a black tie unless it's going to be something like a, um, a really high-end performance at a at maybe at Carnegie Hall in New York City or something. That's when you would be wanting to pull out your black tie and looking to be wearing your, your dinner jacket. But no, a dark suit, also I think a dark colored sports jacket with dark colored trousers would be fine as it is going to probably be an evening event and you're going to be going to dinner I assume and other things. You're going to want to go for darker colors in general because darker colors are more for after, you know, in the evening just lighter colors. They just don't look right because they don't match the environment. They don't match the overall scenery. And another great thing with wearing dark colored is when you put it up next to the white, like here I've got a, a, a olive green and I've got a patterned striped shirt. And there is some contrast, but there's not a whole lot when compared with a dark uh, black or a, uh, a charcoal gray or a navy with a white. That instantly has a pop in contrast and that pop, it sends a signal of formality because all of that formality goes back to black tie and black tie is where you have a very stark contrast between the black and the white. So again, call, check in. Now let's talk about your current needs and what your budget is. I'm going to say with your budget, you want to try, it sounds, I don't, I haven't seen this suit on you, but just because it's a herringbone pattern, to me, I wouldn't necessarily say that you can't wear this. Now, I would want to see the fit. I'd want to look at the quality of the fabric and I'd want to make sure that the style is right for you. But it sounds like, I mean, with you on a college budget and this being one night, it would almost maybe make sense to take what you have and to go get it tailored. But let's say you, you've decided that you don't want to wear this. Well, you're on a strict budget and I would either advise thrifting or going and looking at some of the box stores, depending on what your body type's like, and seeing if there's anything on sale or anything you can find. Again, right now you've probably got more time than you do have money. So you can spend some time looking around, understand what your measurements are, know what sizes you're going to be looking around, let your fingers do the, do the walking for you, and call around, find out who has your size, and be very clear that, hey, I can't afford the best, but at your age, and I'm assuming with a good body build, fit is going to be the most important thing. Fabric is important. A little bit later on, maybe when you have some money, the style, you don't want it looking like it came out of the 70s, but being a younger man, you can make a few style mistakes and no one's really going to hold it against you. Again, focus on the fit and you'll look great 
with the woman you're going out with, even though she's you know dressing in, in a great dress, you're going to feel just as good, and you're going to be there to compliment her and to uh, to have a great night. So I hope that helps. I didn't really touch on footwear and all other, a lot of other things like that. I'm going to actually link to an article uh, that I've got over at uh, Real Men Real Style, which talks about dressing to the theater. It's a little bit more higher level, but wear the normal shoes that you would with the suit, or if you wear a sports jacket and pair of dark odd. Uh, pair of uh, dark trousers, then you can actually wear a, you know, a casual, a little bit more casual of a dress shoe, like a slip-on boot or uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe some type of loafer or something like that. But I, I like the idea that you're paying attention to this. Again, call the theater and uh, I'd like to hear from you guys though, next in the comments, because I actually don't go to theaters a lot out here in Wisconsin. My wife and I were, were pretty much homebodies. But uh, no, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments. And in addition, when you when you go to Real Men Real Style, check out uh, my new ebook. It's not really new. I've been building on this thing for like four years, but it's over 600 pages, uh, 14 hours of audio. Um, check it out. You'll be able to find it over at uh, Real Men Real Style. Take care. Bye bye.